Go for it, Brenda. Good morning. This is Brenda and Louder in, from Gresham, Oregon, and April Reynolds from Utah. And we are hosting the business training this morning, uh, December the 14th. And we are just excited. We hope that you will enjoy our training today and maybe learn something that useful that you can apply in your business. And um, I'm just going to very quickly, uh, instead of sharing my whole story, just give a brief thing on the RLV, the new Relive Hemp products. And I'm telling you, they have been amazing help for me. I, I had some recent dental work done and left me with some extreme jaw pain on the right side. And... The um, RLV tinctures have helped me with the pain, and also I was using the balm on the outside of my face, and um, just so grateful to have these products along with the basic nutrition that just keep me going. And I love it that I'm getting such better sleep when uh, with the RLV products. I I just wake up energized and usually before my alarm goes off. So, April, take it away. Okay, well, I'll just make a little plug also for the RLV. It was um, I've gotten some really good help with sleep also. Interestingly enough, yesterday I was in um, uh, visiting with a, a physician's assistant and somehow I'd mentioned that I was uh, taking um, the CBD oil and it was helping with sleep, and he said, really? And he was very interested because his wife has issues, and and he went on to talk about other people he knew that it had really significant help with CBD. Um, One case, a a little, and this was not RLV, but I think that RLV, you know, very appropriately right in there, one little boy that... um, uh, was a four-year-old that had brain cancer, and he was just, um, due to all the treatments he'd had, he was just um, dying, and how um, his parents got him on CBD, and not only did it help him to be able to restore his health, um, but also it, it restored his immune system way beyond what the doctors had expected. And this, this physician's assistant told me, he goes, you know, I really think that there is something to this and that medical science doesn't know it all and that there's, there's ample room for both. And that he said, you know, this little boy got improvements way beyond what the doctors ever dreamed he would on account of the CBD. And I thought, wow, this is interesting. Someone in the medical field who is attesting to how incredible the help the CBD can be to people. Um, so I just thought that was very interesting that I was sharing my story and he was sharing his about benefits with CBD. So um, on our training, how do you succeed with Relive, with promoting RLV, with promoting the business, with promoting the other uh, Relive products? then you work the circle of success, the fundamental steps. There's five fundamental steps that we're going to go through today. And using those five fundamental steps with new people, then you utilize the business cycle within Relive, the corporate board, and the daily activity, and that we fuel our businesses with new people. And with that circle of success, Brenda and I had talked about it. I said, you know, now is winter time, and I know some of you live in an area where it's snowy and some don't, but um, just enjoy the, the little snowman theme as we carry it through our training today. We thought, you know, using the five fundamental steps, um, those, are, those are the things that we need to do to keep our businesses going. It's like building the foundation of something. Like in a case of building a snowman, you get that foundation of those snowballs that you put on top of each other, and then each of these steps have different elements that you go through that will help zoom in on what things we can do to help grow our business. Brenda. Okay, and now we're going to look We've got our eyes, and we're going to see what's going on. And how do we do that? We identify. We make a list. And we can make a list of 10 product prospects or 10 business prospects. 
And you can also put a little note by each of those people and say, why did I think of them? Why do I think Relive would be great? We know Relive's great for everybody, but why did I think about it for this person? And so we're going to talk about the lists. There's lots going on. It's the holidays. And so there's parties happening. Look around. Do you have going to a coworker party, you're going to neighbors party, church party, seeing family, friends. Um, think about your Christmas card list or your holiday card list that you send out. Take another look at that list and see who haven't I added to my relive list that I could be talking to. And what about those opportune moments when you're out shopping? There is a lot of hustle and bustle going on right now when you're out shopping, but look around, see who you can strike up a conversation with and maybe share a brief part of your story and get information to contact them again later. Just be sure you take time to look. And once you have your list, then who are the first people that you're going to talk to? And then um, we're going to connect. We're going to connect from our heart. And what do we hear when we say when we live? That when you're sharing your story, you share from your heart, and that's part of connecting. And so what do I say? You share your excitement, and then you let them know why you thought of them. And it, then it's using their why to let them know you care. Sharing is caring. Use the company tools to validate, and then your goal is to set an appointment. Also notice that follow-up is in the middle of each of, of the circle of success, and so that needs to happen after every step. Okay. And so some opening sentences. You could say something like, Kathy, I know your health is a priority. I'm working with a company that could really help you. When can we get together? It's important that you add that part. When can we get together? You know, I've just started in something that made me think of you. You really need to check this out. It's a chance to earn some serious money. Again, when can we get together? And a lot of people say their favorite is just to say, how are you? And once you ask that question, take time to listen to what they say back to you. Use the tools and stories to validate. And then we're going to share the Relive story, and we're going to tell them your why, your belief, your heart. If you notice, this snowman has two hearts, you know, so you're, you're having a heart to think about identifying people and stuff, and then you're going to really, really share, you know, what Relive has done for you, what you've seen with it, with your uh, health story, with your business story, and tell them the whole story. Um, I don't know if any of you were on the uh, Helping You, Helping Others call with Joyce Ferguson this last Thursday. If you haven't listened to it, I would encourage you to listen to it, because she talked about that very thing, how it's tempting just to kind of, you know, tell them the specific part that they're interested in for health ben- health benefits or for the business. But she said, tell the whole story because when you do, they get the big, big picture. And yes, we've heard that before, but it's, it's just important review. And use uh, the presentation tools that are available. You know, there's the opportunity book, slides, videos. Got the online training webinars, and make sure you introduce uh, the people that you're sharing to your upline and to your other Relive stories. It's very interesting. When I got into Relive, um, my upline, you know, shared his story with me, and then he shared other people's stories. He had me on calls even before I ever signed up, and and it was very interesting. I kind of felt like I became part of the group even though I wasn't even yet a distributor, it was kind of like, oh, yeah, I guess I need to sign up now because I feel like I'm already in. I'm already you know, moving forward. I just need to formalize it now. And so that's part of, of doing that. And, and if you notice this little snowman, he's got his arms that are being painted, and they're wide open. And I, I guess I just say, you know, reach out and tell them the whole story and reach out and, and embrace the people that you're sharing with. Help hold them in to see what we can do with Relive. 
And as you continue to engage these people, you know, ask them who they know, invite them to relive meetings or events, to in-home parties, have them be on conference calls and um, introduce them to, like I said, other distributors and let them know there's other tools out there, video tools, the lifestyle magazine, the blog, <clears throat> help them to realize we don't have to be perfect in every single thing we know. And be honest, hey, I don't know everything, but we have a system here that will help educate and validate. And one thing that I have found, it's um, important to communicate well that the Relive system is to educate and validate. Some people I've gotten pushback saying, you don't have to convince me. You know, I, I've, I've got this or their, their results are going to be different than mine. I'm like, yes, that's true. But somehow they understand, and it's easy for them to misunderstand, I guess, that we are trying to put them on stories to arm twist them or convince them. No, that's not at all. The point is to educate so that they can be an informed consumer. They can understand better because this is a new approach for a lot of people. It's a new way of thinking to, of how to earn money. It's a new way of thinking of how to help address their own health issues or health issues of friends that they know or loved ones that they have. And so as we educate them, it validates what we're saying, and then they will be empowered to make decisions to say, wow, this is really good. This is right for me. And now we've added our mouth. And so we are going to open our mouth, and then we're going to listen. This is the time to ask for a decision. And you need to be prepared to do business. You need to have products on hand um, and tools with you at all times. There's the Relive Super Pack. There are sales tools. Um, maybe have a recommended order for a few different options. There's the customer, the distributor, the master affiliate. And then be ready to help them register. There's the forms. There's online application. But you know what? We've got some wonderful Things. We've got our Relive app that's on our phones. We've got our personal websites that we can direct people to. We've got the main Relive website that we could get on there with our potential customer. And when you have asked for a decision, and even though the timing might seem like, ah, you know, they're not saying anything. You know, it's the time for you to be quiet and give them a chance to ponder all of the information that they've just heard so that they can make the best decision for them. Okay. And then maybe they'll kind of, you know, say, well, they might have a question that they're asking you. But then you can let them know, well, where, would you, where do you want to get started? Where do you see yourself with Relive? And again, after you ask, you need to take the time to listen. Maybe a super pack is good for you. And you want to explain the benefits of how they're ordering. And, you know, and, and we've kind of been you know, starting with the basics. And the basics are great. And then you can add a targeted solution if you need to. You want to keep it simple. <clears throat> Don't overwhelm you know, the new person. You've already given them a lot of information and stuff. So, and then always you want to help them figure out how they can save on the products. And now we don't have a slide that talks about the new RLV products. But that is definitely something that is a hot topic right now. And so we, we want to be sure that we are sharing the full story and that we're letting them know about all of the Relive products. And then always you want to check with them, who do you know that could benefit from the Relive products? Okay, and again, <coughs> excuse me. We're asking that question, where would you like to get started? And so if building a Relive business is, is something that they're interested in, then we need to get them started right away, get their application in, and review the comp plan, have a question and answer period so that they know exactly what's going on, help them to see their potential, and select the best option. Is it a customer, a distributor, a master affiliate? 
and we let's get them started on the products. And then again, who do you know then that might want to start a real business? So we've got two options. You know, some of the people just want to be a customer, and and that's great because that's where they're ready to get started. And a lot of times a customer actually turns into a distributor and into a master affiliate. And so we want to meet them where they're at, and we want to support them in wherever they're ready to get started. We want to make sure they have all the options, but we want to meet them where they're ready to get started. So some people, they might feel like they they would like to start a business, but they just don't feel like they have a nose for business. It's like, oh, I don't really know how to go about this. We can help and guide them and encourage them and say, okay, you don't have to have a degree in business. You don't have to have run your own business for the last 20 years to know how to do this. We have lots and lots of tools that can help you. And the slide shows all the, you know, many of the different tools, but not even all of them. You know, we have blogs and brochures and online and, and um, of course we now have our, web, our personal websites and we can send videos and we can see if people watch the videos and, and you know, not the language of all the different technologies and printed material is the human interest part of the tools and that is your upline, your sidelines, the stories that just really, really resonate with you and touch your heart. And I have had people, more particular customers that are like, no, no, I don't do the stories. No, I'm like, okay, I'm just letting you know those people who are get the best results have the stories, and the stories are not there to convince you. They're to empower you, to educate you, to learn how this can benefit you, and maybe some little things to adjust and to tweak along the way. It's interesting when I've had people share uh, their story with some of my customers. A lot of times they're like, oh my gosh, you know, it, it, they would say, I, I hadn't even mentioned that I was struggling with this or that you brought up this or that, that my friend has. And, and it kind of opens their mind to realize, wow, there's things here that I didn't know about. But I think a lot of people think, well, you just take it and either works or it doesn't. Some people works or some people it doesn't. But if we can help them to know this is a matter of adjusting and tweaking and helping them to address it. I'm also currently working with a um, – a shirt tail relative's mom, and uh, I saw my my shirt tail relative is like a my nephew's or my cousin's wife. Anyway, um, she was saying, well, you know, I think my mom is, you know, this is how she's going in her progress with taking relive. And I said, yeah, I talked to her like pretty much weekly, and she's like, you do. I'm like, yeah, that's part of what we do. Goes, oh my goodness, thank you. I mean, I feel like she was thinking that I was going over the top. I'm like, no, that's what we do with relive. In our businesses, you get that personal guide. You get that someone who is going to stay in touch with you and support you and help you in your journey. And I think a lot of people, that's unique to people. They don't expect it. They figure, okay, you want me to buy this stuff, great. Or you want me to go off and do this business and you kind of give me a running start and then I'm on my own. No, we are here with you throughout the whole process. You end up becoming friends with, you bond with. This is someone that you are going to take life's journey with with regard to your relive uh, business, your relive progress, your relive health stories. We would share things with each other and we find it's just so touching and it's so uplifting. It's just, uh, you know, throughout the world there's so much negativity and within relive there's such an uplifting sense that we support each other, we encourage each other in our trainings, in our business, in sharing our stories, and, and help people to realize that's what the Relive Culture is about. You don't have to have this inherent strength already, a lot of experience. We guide you through this with the tools and with the personal support that we offer. And then at that point, they can oftentimes feel like, okay, now I have the confidence to register. I can do this. I can move forward with your consumers. Help them with their product regime. You know, here again, educate them as I talked about, and uh, help them look to to move them up. And and you know, it, they have a simple system of you know, did you take a shake today? Day three, are you consistent? What results are you seeing so far? And help them if they hit a little bump in the road. Sometimes they have a little bump, and you're like, okay, if this isn't going well for you, like there was a, a customer that I have, and I was. You know, saying, hey, is it working out okay, taking those shakes regularly? Well, I try. I do what I can to get them in. I'm like, okay, I'm reading between the lines saying, okay, this is 
you know, someone who is in her early 20s and, and is just kind of a little bit, you know, kind of running here and there, not really realizing the importance of taking. And so I brainstorm with her and say, you know, um, let's look at some strategies that can help you. Do you want to, if you're going to take your two shakes a day, maybe tag it in with taking it, you know, with your breakfast and taking it with your lunch or dinner? Or do you want to set a alarm on your phone to kind of remind you, oh, time to go take my shake? If I had not asked those questions, I wouldn't have known if she was taking it or not. So it's really important we ask the right questions and that we, you know, kind of put things out to them to see how things are going so we can adjust things for them, uh, whether it's a consistency issue or whether it's, you know, maybe adjusting the products or whatever. And, and you know, ask them, who do you know who can benefit from these products or this business opportunity? And as you do this, you're wrapping your customers and your distributors with warmth. You're letting them know you care about them, that you want to help them, and that you show that warmth and friendship and love toward them and toward their progress. And, and likewise, setting, you know, it's important to set your distributors up to succeed. Help them take immediate action. Help them to build the list. Don't just assign them to build that list walk through them and help them to identify and do that list with them. And then help them to figure out who they're going to connect with, who are they going to call first, and then share the story, help them set that first appointment and go with them, assist them in that process. And then as the distributors are just learning, you know, there's so much information to learn, but, you know, just do it in a very steady manner so you're not knowing them under with, oh, I have to do this and this and this and this. Help them say, okay, now we're going to talk about the process of helping someone to order. Now we're going to talk about maybe the next time, helping to register people. Now let's go through and I can show you how to uh, you know, walk someone through how to navigate relive.com and so on. So, we can, in, so they can understand that process. Listening to them is really important. So what we're doing in registering and go, the go part of registering, is that follow-up. Registering is easy. We're just getting them down. You know, this is where you're going to order. This is what you're going to do. You sign up as a distributor. But the follow-up is the part that you're holding their hand. You're walking them through that process. And listening to the distributors also is very important. You know, are they feeling confident? Are they feeling excited but they don't know where? Do they need, you know, a little more training? Um, there's somebody who I, I think has a little tickle in the throat. If you could just uh, mute yourself, that would be helpful. So I don't have to mute everybody. Um, I would appreciate that. Um, so um, help them and listen to them. Oops, sorry, I popped up. Listen to them throughout that whole process so you can know how you can best support them in the things that they are doing to get confident in doing the business. Be there for they are newbies. They need that support. And so we can help them get a good solid start by listening and guiding them through. Okay. And we have the Relive system. We have um, our business cycle. We've got international conference. Um, this is kind of an old slide. It may not be international, but we definitely have a conference coming up. Um, in February, and that will be on another slide. There are special events that are happening. Check the Relive website to see if there is a special event in your area or in an area of one of your distributors or someone that you know that you can share that information with to get them to that special event. And then what are you doing on a daily basis? There's Can you hear me? Okay. Um, there's the daily activity. There's presentations. Thanks, Robert. And in-home meetings. There's other meetings, upline, three-way calls, trainings, and webinars. And you'll notice there's arrows going back and forth with new people. New people are the key to your business. Um, and we have amazing corporate support. They've got um, things happening on Facebook. They've got um, other webinars. They've got, I guess you could call them podcasts. 
there's um, like an ambassador call on Mondays now as well. And uh, Tom does his um, product call and information call the first of each month and what's happening, what's new, what the bonuses are, you know, all of that information is to also for you to help your new person to get plugged into. There's the support tools and there's the relive.com forward slash get started. And if anyone has questions, that's a great place to get started, literally, to look at that, to see what's happening, to see how you do it. Um, And just remember that you're not in this alone, that there is a host of people that are willing to help you. And even those that you're not connected to that are sidelines, um, kind of like we call them kind of like your cousins. It's like a big relive family. And you can call on them and they will be so willing to share their stories with your people and with whoever you have, you know, that you're working with with their people and stuff so that the real family continues to grow and the new people feel welcome and they're following along and you're just guiding them. You're, you're loving them with your heart and you're guiding them with the information. And here we go. Relive live. Um, in 2020 is going to be February 14th and 15th in Dallas, Texas. Talk about your heart. We're going to be there Valentine's Day. And then the Relive Live um, is also going to be in our home area, St. Louis, Missouri, the home of Relive, on July 31st and August 1st. These are events that you want to get people to because <laughs> Relive does an amazing job with events, and it just um, the excitement that is in the air, the camaraderie of the other distributors, the things that you learn that you really don't learn any place else, and again, the heart of Relive, and you really see the leaders of this company and how much they do love the distributors and the people, and they are working every day to make things better for us. And so that is so amazing. It's a wonderful company, company with integrity and people that show and share their love. And Relive is a business of building relationships. And so that is something that is important to connect your people um, that are coming in new, that they get that feeling of that Relive community. And we are going to engage our team. And so you'll notice that we've connected the earmuffs. So we've done our listening, and um, we need to do more than talk. We need to actually... um, engage our team. Again, we're showing them how to do things, but listening is so important because we need to know where they're at. We need to know what they need. Um, Let's develop that library of stories. We have our upline, our downline, our crossline, other distributors. We've got the tools. We've got the whole Relive system. And there are so many things that you can add to your library um, in in building ambassadors, again, we're building relationships. And it is like a big family. I mean, I know everybody that's on this call. And um, that is just kind of like the wonder of Relive. And you get to know. You know what's happening in their lives. You know, you know what's in their heart. It is really an amazing company. And you want to stay engaged to what's going on. Check your emails. Be on these calls. Get on the webinars. Look at the blog. Social media. There are several groups on Facebook. And there is such wonderful information out there that everyone is sharing. Um, Text messages. Stay in touch. And now it's time to set our goals. 
And part of setting our goals is to review the roadmap, review the road to presidential, and see what do you need to do to achieve that. If you're already there, what are you going to do to help the people in your downline achieve that? Um, Stretch their thinking. Maybe they think, oh, I can't do that, you know. But they can, and it's just one step at a time. What does it take to make key director in so many months? How can I adjust my roadmap? What can I do to get there? And who's going to be the next key director in your organization? Keep your team connected. And, (laughs) again, you'll see that follow-up is in the middle of our wheel. And our advice to you is duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. Who's next? That's the end of our training for today. And we would just like to say thank you and wish everyone a Merry Christmas and Happy Holiday from our home to yours. Thank you so much, everyone, for being on this call. Hope you have a wonderful day. That was a great training. I loved it. Thanks, Carla. Thank you. Love all the graphics. <laughs> Thanks, Jim. Good, Good job. Fun. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Thanks, Robert Snowman, Merry for the Christmas. win. Merry Christmas. All right. Yeah, <laughs> let's do it. All righty. <laughs> Everyone, have a great day. Have a great Relive Day. Thanks, Mike. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. Thanks, Mike, Robert. Thanks, Louise, Jim, Quila. It's great to have you guys on the call today. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye, guys. Bye now. And this recording will be sent out a little bit later for those of you that want to review it again or those that, you know, might have missed it but would like to enjoy it. Thanks.